in this session we are going to discuss ad networks part 9 challenges and solution i have already explained types of ad inventory difference between premium and remnant reasons behind remnant inventory what publisher do with remnant inventory introduction to ad networks how players use ad networks ad networks in sellers or buyers point of view how does ad network works so these are the topics we covered in our previous topics in this video what i am going to explain is ratio of demand and supply with examples and applying the same concept to ad networks how the relationship works with other ad networks and volume exchange between ad networks commission between the ad networks and problem faced in the process till yesterday we have discussed ad networks are connected to each other as well as how large players and small players play their role in the ecosystem i am adding few more points to it for ad networks what if supply side business and buyer side business are not grown unequally i mean to say supply side business and buyer side business are grown unequally in the sense there is imbalance between the supply and as well as a buy uh, and demand or supply side business is high and be buyer side business is slow so this thing will happen or may you may not you may have experienced this in real time right i mean to say for example if there is a farmer if there is a more number of uh, uh, products to purchase but there is a less demand from the people definitely there is imbalance getting my point yes yeah so we are in this uh, complete session what i'm trying to explain is how exactly this thing will work and what are the problems uh, will be faced by the player and uh, we shall take with an example okay. so understand with a real time example we already discussed the farmers are the one who produces uh, apples and consumers are the one who purchase the apples so in between them there exist one player he is nothing but a mediator right yes now let's take two cases in first case let's assume there is a mediator who buys exceed food items and get less consumers for that initially he buys a food items that's fine food items in the sense he gets a supply okay and then when he come out and sell it to the consumers unfortunately he get less number of consumers to buy those food items there are more sellers and less buyers right yes here you can see supply is more and demand is less so sellers are, here sellers are more and buyers are less what happens in this case one is item goes as waste if unsold items in the sense here food items or we can relate it to the product product goes as waste if unsold since product life span ends as it expires every product has its own life span right so once life span is over it expires now let's take case 2 in this case 2 same mediator what happened is he got less supply less supply of food items and unfortunately for that supply he got more consumers in this case 2 there are less supply sellers and more buyers what we can say is supply is less and demand is more right yes or you might have seen this in the real time right yeah yeah so what happens in this case just look at here and explain supply is important to maintain yeah so here what happens is scarcity of food for custom consumers will happen right yeah so consumers who are looking for the product since there is less supply scarcity will happen so okay finally i'll give you an example for this uh, okay previous days there is uh, there is no need to pay for a water right but is we are paying for water because it in, it is becoming less right that is why the demand is increased yeah in cities yes that's a good example yes correct so previously there was uh, enough supply enough uh, ground water everyone uh, have used to get enough drinking water or whatever the regular uses getting fine good example so finally in any marketplace 
the ratio of demand and supply should be maintained. Okay. Loss may be on both the sides because when demand is more, supply is less, scarcity will happen, right? So, yeah, yeah. Supply, so supply also feels like the unable to make more money because of uh, having less supply since there is more demand. On the other end, let's assume supply is more and demand is less. What happens for the supply is the item goes as waste. Yes. 